Alright, attempt number two. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Metroid Prime. I'm your host as always, the 12th kind. In the last episode, uh, we got a significant number of uh, items and uh, upgrades. And in this episode, we are going to continue the trend. So, that's pretty exciting. Uh, also, uh, the reason why I said attempt number two is because I recorded this episode... I got all the way to the uh, climactic uh, finale, and then uh, uh, I died, and it sent me all the way back to uh, that save station, which is where I started the episode. So I figured, okay, I'll just re-record the episode. So uh, I did still save the recording, like both commentary and gameplay, so I will probably release that as like uh an exclusive thing on um like patreon or my uh itchio page as like a fun little uh thing uh <laughs> yeah so that didn't crush me at all <laughs> uh so we are uh we're doing a take two now but this time around i know uh some of the topics that i uh were tr was trying to talk about oh god my freaking uh, like allergies are so bad like my ears are starting to congest now which is friggin' insane like imagine having allergies so bad your ears just go mm, i think i also will close like what what is that why what the heck <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all but here we are in our own special slice of hell uh but yeah honestly um i think i just it was a combination of unlucky and being uh a little too um uh taking too many risks i think was the big thing was i was trying a, a strategy that worked in uh you know personal playthrough and it just wasn't cutting out and <laughs> it cost me a lot i ran out of missiles and then i died <laughs> uh which like you know on one hand not too big of a deal because your charge beam will always be just as good as you know a missile but when we're dealing with enemies that can absorb your beam attacks it's not fun it's like the developers decided you know what we should punish you extra hard for uh you know being a little too loose with your missiles which is just a wild concept but uh but yeah i think one of the things was uh i used the wave uh the the wave beam uh beam emitter thing wave buster that's what it's called uh, and because of that, uh, I used up too many missiles. When in reality, I should just be using super missiles. They are effective, and the beam combos are really just for fun. Like, that's really what they're there for. Uh, like, there, there's no reason why I should be using them in a serious capacity. Because uh, it's like, they eat so many missiles. It's honestly, it's a little absurd. <laughs> Um, I think, um, Prime 2, Prime, I know Prime 3 for sure doesn't have the, like, special beam combos, but I think Prime 2 also got rid of that, um, which, like, on one hand, ah, uh, because then, like, each beam doesn't have its own, like, super missile, but at the same time, does every beam really need its own super missile? Like it's one of those things I'm I'm constantly like struggling with my like this sort of like pros and cons. Like, okay, every missile has its own version of the super missile. 
but realistically speaking is it that helpful is there that many scenarios where like uh you know wave busters like you know extremely good or um is uh you know is flamethrower worth the missiles does ice spreader you know the ability to have some weird form of crowd control worth it now arguably out of all of those uh, the ice spreader is not the worst defender because uh god fucking damn it stupid metroid um because ice spreader is really you know it doesn't use up a ton it is you know ice super missile whereas stuff like flamethrower and beam emitter is like uh effectively firing a ton of like regular missiles at once but it's got a fun little effect to it um thankfully though um what this means for me is uh i know what i'm doing i've adjusted my notes accordingly and uh i will no longer be concerned about what the heck the notes are saying because now i know because i've gone through it <laughs> oh my gosh so outside of that i hope y'all are doing fine i am in a little fun little slice of hell because of the fact that um i uh i'm having to do a second take um yeah 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 your big mean shadow pirates get out of here no one cares um Oh, God. What was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. Greeting y'all. Um, stating that um, I, I'm doing this for the second time. I will not stop harping on that. And, but honestly, that's just kind of like the reality of doing Let's Plays is sometimes you record a whole episode and then you go, oh... I should redo that entire thing. And it does sometimes take the wind out of your sails. Um, and even the best of Let's Players do it. Um, you know, like uh, Trigger Connery, for example. Um, like, he had an episode of uh, Pokemon Black and White where... Um, his starter, I think it was, was, like, super close to uh, a level up that would have gotten it some uh, fun moves. But the entire uh, take, he was using Pokemon that made sense to use instead of giving that particular po uh, Pokemon a time to shine. And so because of that, um, Pokemon never got the level up. And so more or less the objective of the episode wasn't really fulfilled. Uh, and that can be honestly, you know, that's kind of a thing where it's like, oh man, that's a bummer. Um, because yeah, it is a bummer. It, it's a bummer when it's like you have a game like Metroid where it's fixed save points. You can't just save on the fly with like something like Fallout, for example. Um... There we go. Two super missiles to the face. Thank you and good night. Um, it, it honestly, it can, it's really frustrating when it happens. Um, God, I'm trying to think what other times I've I've had that done to me. Honestly, there is. If you go back to like really early in this particular channel's history, you'll see that there are some episodes where I really should have just binned that particular recording and just like, or just kept recording until I got it and then cut out all of the failed takes. Cause it's like, honestly, that's 
what really should have happened but i didn't do that and so you know there's like a ton of episodes where i'm just stuck doing the same thing over and over again and i don't think to you know maybe just maybe cut that out but also it's like um like when i started this channel was when i was really starting to uh you know try to figure out what makes a decent let's play and of course this is let's play like how it used to be not hey we're gonna play a game for like a single video and then never touch it again and call it a let's play because it's like well yes to some extent you could call that a let's play let's be honest are we is it really a let's play if it's a one-off because at that point it's more like a let's try <laughs> You know, like a good old... God damn it, I can't believe I did that. Like a... <laughs> give it a good old-fashioned college try. <laughs> uh... But anyways... Uh... My brain, honestly, when I was recording the failed take, uh... Just had so many weird misfires. Like, I kept pressing the morph ball button instead of, uh... Oop, not thermal. There we go. Um, instead of missiles and a, just a whole bunch of weird stuff that I have no idea why that was happening, but it was. And it just kind of frustrated me because I was like, come on, I'm better than this. Come on. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things. Sometimes you just have a bad take and we're not talking about, you know, the bad takes that we see on Reddit. Like, God, no. Um, but it's like, sometimes you just have a bad recording and you got to bin it. And that's all right. And, like, if there's anyone watching this that's like, I want to do this. Um, first of all, please, oh God, have it be a hobby. Do not for a second think that you will make money off of this um, because there is a high likelihood that you probably will not. If you're watching this in the future, a possible future where I am making money off of it, outlier case, honestly. Um, you know, I don't want to be like doom and gloom. It's like the market is pretty oversaturated and there's like a weird new meta with Let's Plays. Um, it honestly, it kind of reminds me of like, there was a brief period in history where, uh, in like YouTube gaming history where the meta then seems kind of vaguely what it is now, where it's a lot of like, you know, one-off stuff and, you know, challenges and all this weird like uh different takes on what a let's play is uh and then you've got some folks like me who are like no we are doing traditional let's plays <laughs> because uh you know what is tradition but uh peer pressure from old people which is the case most of the time uh, but for something like Let's Plays is not, like, I don't really see that as the case. And I'm not saying that there is a right way or a wrong way to do Let's Plays. Far from it. Um, you know, far be it from me to tell people what they can or can't do <laughs> from, uh, you know, with their, their free time, with their own creativity um, but it, it's definitely, I will say it's interesting to see, uh, you know, how you've got these two, um, you know, essentially two camps of, uh, let's play creators. You have the ones who, um, believe a let's play is you start a game and uh you uh do it start to finish 
and that is a let's play. And then you have others that are like, mm, no, uh, a let's play sh could be, you know, you play a game and, you know, when you say let's play, let us play this game together on the YouTubes. Um, what? Whoa, what the heck? I never saw him unfreeze like that before. That was weird. Uh, or at least not that quickly. I don't know what that was about. Um, but yeah, like, uh, you know, they're, uh, it's interesting. Um, you know, a new friend of mine, uh, James the First, uh, you've probably seen him appear in the, the comments like one or two times uh you know he does let's plays you know in the same vein that i do where it's like okay let's pick a game and we're gonna play through it sometimes we'll do more than one game sometimes we won't um but it's like it, it's that general like sort of idea uh, and then of course uh you know i've got um, buddy Cam, who I haven't talked to in a while. I really should talk to him. Um, game? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, god dang it. Okay. There. All right. I don't know what was up with that. It was like the Metroid was frozen, but it wasn't taking damage. I think I froze it while it was in the middle of doing its little like harvesting thing, even though it didn't eat anything. It was so weird. That was one hell of a bug. I, oh God, it was just so weird. Anyways, um, but it's like, uh, there there are still like a majority of those who still do let's plays in the sense of like, here is a game. We are going to play through it until the end, you know, is people like Chugga Conroy or, um, Stephen and Mallory George of Stephen plays. But although I will say to some extent for, um, Stephen and Mal, instead of just recording their let's plays uh, like offline and then editing them they now uh stream them playing through the game on twitch um which is interesting uh you know we've seen uh some creators ow um uh, do that uh as well like either make a complete move to twitch or try to find some sort of hybrid approach where they um, excuse you. Ow, 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 motherfucker. What the hell? He was like right in me. That was weird. Um, God, I am seriously hurting on health because of that. What is with this playthrough? Or not this playthrough, this recording. I guess both. Um, God, that that's just weird. There, I do know for a fact there's a save station uh, coming up. So there is uh, that. Also, let's scan this dude. Uh, this is a plasma trooper. Uh, the text after where it's like a uh, trooper with plasma technology it's like they have reversed engineered your beam technology and it's like no 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 none of that <laughs> we stole their beam technology for the plasma beam that it was uh you know it was in magmore caverns they had some presence in magmore caverns um i'm or no did they oh gosh i can't remember oh no no okay it wasn't it wasn't theirs okay um it was chozo that's right because it um 
the Chozo had uh, used Magmore Caverns as a source of geothermal energy. And that's right. That's right. <laughs> I for gore. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. I think that's a wave trooper off to the left. Yep. We got ourselves a wave trooper. He's doing the wave. Um, come on. Come on. Die. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Um, I totally forgot what I was saying. But, oh, it was about Magma. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I guess you could say technically they reverse engineered the beam but they could have also been working on their own plasma technology because it is vaguely similar to like their mining beam kind of deal uh health alert raise uh phase on radiation warning is still in effect do not enter a phase on processing area without level eight radiation gear prolonged exposure is 100 percent fatal uh phase on processing efficiency at maximum production at 187 percent and rising Omega Pirate absorption system test results are in. Field tests indicate that the system is very effective against beam weaponry. We are alarmed at the field's inability to handle missile attacks, however. Science team is working around the clock to correct this critical design flaw. The Omega Pirate cannot afford such weakness in battle. Data suggests that Omega Pirate lifespans are critically low. High levels of phazon exposure are causing rapid cell degeneration in all test subjects. No subject lived longer than two deca cycles in our simulations. Their lifespans must be increased to be cost effective. Log 11369, nice, 4. As we continue to observe the development of Project Helix's elite pirates, it becomes increasingly obvious that these warriors will usher in a new era of space pirate dominance. They are incredibly resistant to damage, and their ability to transport and wield so many weapons at once makes them the ideal mainstays of our ground forces. Though they are not as quick as typical pirates, it makes little difference. With a platoon of elite pirates in the vanguard of an army, of normal and flying pirates, we will have a near indestructible backbone that should turn the tide in any engagement. Neat. Uh, you know what else could turn the tide in any engagement? A missile expansion. We're going to grab that. Nice. Uh, and then over here. Oop, nope. Plasma beam. Uh, let's see. Give me dodge missiles. Uh... We have a safe station right here, uh, and I am going to save. I've copied my save file over to another slot so I can uh, save because good lord knows that I need it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, eh, anyways. Um, trying to think what else is going on. Oh, uh, I'm attest, uh, attending a few festivals as a um, um, as a vendor. Uh, I'm going to be selling uh, zines or zines, whatever you want to call them. Um, oh, let's scan that security bypass. There we go. I don't know if that counts towards scans or not, uh, but I figured I should. Uh... But yeah, so uh, I'm attending two festivals as a vendor, selling uh, my uh, creations, booklets, um, uh, tabletop games, that kind of stuff. Morphology, Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Omega Pirate can become invisible to normal sight. It is vulnerable when cloaked as all energy is drawn from defensive systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Considered the pinnacle of the elite pirate program, this enemy should be handled with extreme caution and maximum firepower. Holding fire for maximum effect. God, I've played so much friggin' Star Wars and Pirate War. Oh my gosh. Uh, one day I'll let's play it. Um, I... Jeez. 
uh, it it's definitely um, probably one of my favorite RTS games and um, I do also want to uh, start streaming some uh, Stellaris or not streaming uh, some doing let's plays of modded Stellaris content oh my god stop do not touch me uh Oh, God, I can't believe I just did that. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, ooh. Does that help? Also, it's like, oh, it's so weak to, to missiles. It's not really. Because, obviously, it's, you know... If it moves in just the right way, you can't hit jack shit. <laughs> uh, so now he's calling for help. Also, don't touch the phase on. You will get hurt. Ah, uh, okay. And then... There we go. Uh, he will appear in one of these uh, puddles of phase on. So uh, keep your wits about you. And have a super missile ready to go because it does hurt him quite a bit. I believe he will teleport uh, twice in total and then uh, go back to being uh, visible. And where is he? Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Let's drop a power bomb. Power bomb. We are dropping power bombs. Uh, there is a strat where you can use power bombs to uh, hurt him, which I will try once because Lord knows that this doesn't always work. Ow. And that is why. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, I need some reinforcements. Uh, this lady's really hurting me. She's like a friggin' bully. Can you guys like deal with this, please? She's like really fucking mean, bro. <laughs> uh. There we go. Okay. Uh. Oh, there you are. Shut up! Stop that! Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Aw, oh, you butthole. There, eat a friggin' thing. I don't care. Yeah! Aw, oh, damn it. It is weird that uh, super missiles get uh, absorbed by his little uh thing because it doesn't make sense like why would it also apparently my super missiles will just go right through his uh <laughs> his friggin thing uh his cannons which is not ideal that's really stupid i don't know why there's there's a lot of interesting things about this game where it's like you think you could do a thing but then it's like, oh no, it, you actually can't do that thing. And it's like, well, why? There we go. And we've killed him. And somehow he's teleported to the front of the room. And uh, he dies and he smashes us with the full weight of his body. And he oozes out and just completely drenches us in phase on. Like just absolutely coats us in the stuff and somehow our suit is like I have been bathed in the eternal power the fuck okay I think it's this controller is bad <laughs> or not the controller but the cable it has uh, your suit has been infused with pure phase on this corruption prevents damage from phase on radiation this is amazing! Da -na 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 
so before we continue on, um, I want to get the final artifact, which is all the way back here in that uh, little passageway where it was like all the, the different ways you could go. Um, I think before, ah, uh, there are Metroids here. Uh, the place is exploding because of course it is. We've, we've caused significant damage to the facility. <laughs> facility under attack. Base under attack. Ow. Could you not? I would greatly appreciate it if you like just fucked right off, you know? There we go. Give me that. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. And away we go. Yeet. Oh my god. No. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a pet. Like, no, no, not on the carpet. <laughs> Oh, man. I would like to have another pet someday. Ah, ha, ha. Yes. Yes. There you are. The Fission Metroid. Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. The Fission Metroid is a mutant capable of splitting in two. The split endows the new creatures with invulnerability to most weapons. This effect is unstable, resulting in weakness to a type of weapon fire. Uh, the vulnerability appears to be random due to the chaotic nature of Phazon mutation. Oh, ow. Uh, God. Uh, oh my god, why am I doing that? Stop it. Stop it. There we go. So he's made uh, he's made a friend. Oh my god. Stop. Uh, I guess you could say uh, this is what the... Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, what is that? It's a Leoplurodon, Charlie. The magical Leoplurodon. He's gonna guide her... Fucking Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. G let me go! Oh my. I f god. Fission Metroids in this room is the worst. It's the goddamn pits. Ugh. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad Metroid. Also bad me for keep pressing the morph ball button. I do not know why I keep doing that. Ugh. No, you don't. God damn it. Oh, I forgot to grab this missile expansion. But uh, there you go. It's there. It's in the middle of a ring of mushrooms. Honestly, if you don't have power bombs, just don't even bother. Because they are such a pain to kill. It is, like, honestly a nightmare. <laughs> it's the... I swear to freaking Christ. Oh, my God. The Metroids. They're so annoying. Uh. Again, only real way to, like, deal with a whole horde of them because it's like fission metroids will like replicate so fast and it's really hard to just like kill the first one so it's like honestly you're better off just like getting into ball form and then just like booking it uh but that is our final artifact uh to get which is uh, amazing. And that's also the artifact that um, uh, had no hint because it was uh, a brand new one, I suppose. Okay. There. Nah, nah. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. God damn it. Nope. 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 I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Oh. God. Get me out of here. Out of here. I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. If you spell applesauce, which you'll say, you will get ah. Okay, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna have to fight you. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, no, no. Again, sounds like I'm talking to a dog or a cat. Okay. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That's so frustrating. I honestly, I... Okay, I will say it. Metroid Prime is not a perfect game. There are some elements that are just super frustrating for like no reason it's like oh fusion fission metroids like that's a really neat idea but the execution is so frustrating like it almost is like to the point of like busting a blood vein out of your friggin noggin because it's like oh okay here's a metroid that can replicate itself oh neat uh but it will replicate itself the second it gets it spots you and it's like okay that's not neat you know i would have much preferred it if you gave me like a fighting chance first and then the game is like no this is metroid prime go fuck yourself and you're like oh okay and then you fall off a mushroom again <laughs> god again i love this game i love most of the metroid games i haven't there are some games in the series i just haven't really sunk my teeth into yet uh, there's metroid other m and metroid prime federation force um and then uh i haven't gotten too far into metroid prime 2 so that's you know but it's like the bit that i played of it i did really enjoy uh, so I do think I will enjoy that much, uh, or enjoy that game a lot. Um, that, uh, oh my god. That being said, um... Uh, sorry, I have to, like, really f focus on these bastards. Oh my god. Well, thank you for giving me friggin' power up. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Again, those guys are invisible. I, They're not scannable, which makes me think that they're not supposed to be invisible but at the same time it's not something that uh happens again like you don't encounter invisible dude of uh, invisible bamboos again so it's like what's the deal like what the fuck i don't understand um because it's like they have some model uh, because they show up on uh, on an x-ray so why is it that this particular bamboo which cannot be scanned like at all even though most enemies can be scanned I don't know I don't get it it's really weird another example why you know you can love Metroid Prime to hell and back but still recognize that 
you know, it has some flaws. And also, like, God, not to get too much into, like, fandom type politics or whatever, but it honestly, it's kind of bizarre how fandom used to be like, I like this thing and I recognize its flaws to being this, like, thing where if you criticize any part of, like, this thing that you like, it is a personal attack on you, which is wild. A absolutely wild concept. Don't know why. Um, come on. Platform active. Oh my god. Fuck off. <sighs> god, yep, this place fills with uh, fission Metroid, so I hope you enjoy fighting them. Because they are here. Oh my god. No, you don't. Oh, thank you for creating a plasma. Oh my god, why are you like this? No, do not. Oh. God damn it. Uh, okay. No, stop. Why? Why, 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 why? Are you being such assholes right now? I really would fucking like it if you left. Okay, I'm gonna just... Get the hell out of Dodge now. Get the hell out of Dodge. Grab that energy tank. That's our very last energy tank. So we got the final artifact and the final uh, energy tank in the same episode, which is great. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we still have one more thing left to do in, uh, Magmore Caverns, because there's a thing, uh, that we can get that we couldn't get before, uh, so I'm excited about that. Also, only in this room do the Fission Metroids explode when they touch the phase on here which doesn't make any sense at all but anyways uh i'm going to meet y'all back at the place where we need to be to get the last thing for magmore caverns oh hey uh real quick actually i totally forgot using the x-ray visor here at this little platform uh across so like there and then you jump all the way up here you use extra rise you'll see a, a missile expansion right there um and you get that you use power bomb to break the the wall okay see you back in magmore caverns all right so All right, so here we are in the Triclops pit. Uh, we need our x-ray visor for this because there are some hidden platforms, Batman. <laughs> uh, gosh. Oh. oh, that's right. You can get up from here. So uh, I I'm not sure exactly how many... Uh, my viewers have TikTok. Uh, I assume it's not very many, but uh, for a good while, I don't know if by the time this video comes out, uh, the trend will be dead because let's be honest, TikTok trends do not last very long. Um, but it's like this song where this woman goes, Christ, I'm about to sin again. I said, I love you to a man, but I'm not feeling it. And, um, you know, interesting tune. Like, honestly, you know, probably a very, uh, you know, relatable thing. And also just the way the song goes, like with the beat and everything, um, does make it uh, a pretty good cosplay transition song. So honestly, I can see the appeal of it. That being said, 
uh, an idea that stuck in my head that um, uh, has not left not once is um, a cover of that specific verse but it's Bane talking to Batman and Bane goes Batman I'm about to sin again I said I love you to that man but I'm not feeling it Batman implying that Bane's biggest sin worth confessing was that he said that he loved a man but didn't actually mean it which is honestly one of the dumbest things I've ever come up with <laughs> if anyone does make that into a TikTok trend in the future I would love to know because uh, I believe that would honestly make my day and then uh, I would have to go in for work and then my day would not be made again it would be unmade uh unmade god that sounds like a not shitty but also like not that great sort a mediocre is the word i'm looking for a mediocre uh anime about a maid who uh hates being a maid or something i'm sure there's an anime like that out there yo my <laughs> viewers that watch anime let me know if that's uh that's something that's uh that's an anime already and if i should watch it uh that being said will i probably watch it the answer is maybe not uh but uh there is a one last place i'm gonna go that i want to end the episode on so uh, i will go there and i'll see you in a moment Aha, I knew I was missing something. There was a missile expansion here. Okay, where am I at? I'm at 98. Oh my god. What was my last two edits? Um, uh, Triclops Pit and Talon over. Oh my friggin' god. I'm at 98%, which probably means I'm missing an item. And if we go to the temple next episode, I'm going to be locked out of the out of going back, I'm pretty sure. Or I won't be locked out, but I'll have to do the whole thing and then I'll be allowed to leave. Son of a gun. Okay. I got to uh, explore. Oh my god. Here it is. I totally forgot to revisit the uh, dynamo. Which is uh, right here. And uh, I, that was one of the things I missed. And that got a... Oh my god. That got us to 100% completion. Alright. I've been recording this episode for like a whole friggin uh hour and a half so i'm gonna actually end it here thank you so much for watching next time on let's play metroid prime we're gonna wrap this up thank you so much for watching i'll see you then Bye bye love your face normally i would ask you to support my channel by liking and subscribing but instead i want you to take that energy and put it towards supporting glenn mcbride's music album centerpieces it's an album filled with beautiful music that is perfect for any occasion. Thank you.